Namaste to all. Welcome back. And I hope you all enjoy the practice and uh, take full advantage of it with your family. We're getting few responses. We are loving it. Uh, keep writing to us, comment on our classes and also request. We want to give you more. So keeping that thought, let's start the class sitting tall. Roll your shoulder back and down. Hands onto the heart center or on the knee. Index finger thumb together. And start focusing on yourself. Connecting to yourself. Close your eyes. Feel the breath. Notice your breath. Noticing that deep inhalation. And slow exhalation. in your mind from doing to just being. And listen to your body. Notice any sensations, any tightness. If you notice any, without making any judgments, gently breathe into it. And as you exhale, feel that sensation snapped away. As your body relaxes, muscles relax, weight of the body is pressing down onto the sitting bone. And bring awareness back to your breath. Finding that rhythmic pattern of breathing and stick on with it throughout the class. As usual, we start with the chant for great energy in the class to nourish each other, to protect each other, for our practice to be fruitful and enlightened, and never to have any difference in opinion. We'll start with the sacred sound of Om. If you wish to join me, feel free. If not, allow the vibration of the chant to resonate within yourself. Take a deep inhale. So it's forceful breathing, but we're breathing. So let's start making a fist with both your hands. Inhale, exhale. about 10 times. Let's start. Inhale. No 
warm up breath. Close your eyes. Feel the sensation in your body. Stabilizing your breath. Gently open your eyes. Take both your hands behind the head, interlace the fingers behind the head. Open the elbows to the side, your center of the chest is lifting up, keep the spine long. So you're activating your abdomen, you're going to swing side to side, gazing side to side, twisting your spine, activating your belly. Normal breath. So you're not moving with your breath, you're breathing normally, but twisting side to side. Keep going. Come back to center and release. Inhale, reach both your hands up over the head. Press both your hands over, extend. As you exhale, press the hands forward, round your back, abdomen is drawn in. Inhale, spread the hands to the side, open the chest, look up, chin up. Exhale, press both your hands, again round your back. Inhale, raising both your hands up. Two more times, same pattern. Exhale, press, round your back, abdomen is drawn in. Inhale, open the hands to the side, arching your back, chin up. Exhale, press both your hands, belly button to spine. Inhale, lift the hands up, look up, extending through the spine. Again, exhale, press, round your back, articulating your spine. Inhale, open the hands to the side, lift the center of the chest up. Exhale, press both your hands forward, rounding your back. Inhale, raise both your hands up. Exhale, release both your hands. Good. Inhale, reach both your hands up, interlace the fingers, press the hand, extend. As you exhale, press both your hands towards the left side. As you press the hand, notice your belly. Your abdomen is drawn in. Throughout the center part of the body is engaged. Keep pressing the hand away, stretching your shoulders. Stay for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift back to center. Exhale, press the hand towards the right. Abdomen is drawn in to support the spine. Pressing the hand away from you. Keeping both your biceps closer towards the ear. Keep breathing. Five. Four, three, two, one. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release. Relax your arms. Take both your hands to the shoulders. Bring your elbows together and circle your shoulders. Smooth circles. Feel the movement on your shoulders. Yes, come back and then reverse the direction. Keep going. Two. And one. Now reach both your hands over the head. Bring your left hand over to the right knee. Right hand behind, circle your hand and twist your spine. Twisting from your waist. Chin over towards your right shoulder. Inhale, pull. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep inhale. Exhale. Next inhale. Reach both your hands up over the head. Reach up. Extend. Right hand over to the left. Left hand comes behind and twist to the opposite side. Twisting your spine. Lift the chin up and take it over towards the left shoulder. The center of the chest is lifting up. Extension of the spine. Inhale, lift both your hands up, reach up. Exhale, bring both your hands down, cup your finger, chin away from your throat and walk your hands forward. Your sitting bones are down, slowly float forward, keeping the back flat and send your forehead down. Stay a few breaths here. Inhale deep, exhale slow. Inhale, exhale. One more deep inhale, exhale. Next inhale, chin up, look up, 
and slowly walk your hand back. Place both your hands behind and slowly lift your hip up, arching your back. Exhale, slowly bring your hips down. Two more times, same way. Inhale, lift the hip up. Feel the stretch on the front side of the body, your hip flexor area, your groin area, and squeezing the shoulder blades. And finding that gentle arch on your back. Exhale, down. One more last time. Inhale, look up, chin up, and exhale, down. Relax. Interlace both your fingers. Bring both your bring your hands onto the left knee. Inhale, lift the chin up, extend through the spine. Exhale, bring your abdomen touching the thigh, and chin comes beyond the knee. And stay. Few breaths here. Your abdomen is pressing on the thigh. Feel that breath massaging through the organs. Inhale, full. Exhale, soft. Inhale, exhale, one more deep inhale, and that's it. Next inhalation, lift, exhale to the opposite side, hand holding onto the right knee, lift the center of the chest up as you exhale forward. As you do that, feel the stretch through the back of the body, diagonally, abdomen is pressed on the right thigh. If possible, extend your spine and try to bring the chin beyond the knee. Few breaths, full inhalation, and soft exhale. Every time you softly exhale, the body is surrendering. Your body relax and deepen that stretch. One more deep inhale, and exhale. Next inhaling, lift yourself up. Exhale, relax both your hands. Release both your legs. Extend both your legs in front of you. Shake, shake, shake. Yes. Draw your left heel closer towards you. Cup your finger on the heel. Bring your knee to the chest. You can use a strap if you need to or a towel. Now from here, inhale, straighten your leg. Press the ball of the foot away from you. Really stretch through the back of your left leg. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Really press the ball of the foot away from you. Exhale, bend. So as you move, your thigh is pressing onto the chest as you bring the leg down. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Few more times. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten, exhale, bend. One more last time, inhale, straighten, hold it there. If possible, slowly draw the knee closer towards you. Leg is coming closer towards you. You're not going back or forward. Keeping the spine long, pull the leg closer towards you. Keep gazing at your toe, your big toe, hold. Keep breathing, 10, 9, 8. Pull your leg slightly more if possible. Seven, press the ball of the foot away from you, straighten the leg. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release both your hands. We'll release both your hands. Activate your quadriceps, strong legs. At the count of 10, your leg reaches down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Relax, shake, shake, shake. To the opposite side. Draw your right heel in. Pull. Pull the knee to the chest. Before you start, observe your thigh being pressed onto the chest or the abdomen and slowly straighten. Press the ball of the foot away from you. Spread the toes wide. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. So feel the stretch on your hand, hamstring. Maybe you will feel it on the back of the knee, depending on where you are tight. Or maybe on the face of the butt or on the glute. Two more times. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend. Next time, straighten the leg. Press the ball of the foot away from you. Spread the toes wide. And slowly pull the leg closer towards you. Stay. Keep breathing. 10, 9, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now slowly release your hand. Keep the leg active. Press the ball of the foot away from you. At the count of ten, slowly ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Shake, shake, shake. All right. Let's twist it out now. Take your left leg. Place the left foot outside of the right knee. Firmly press down. If you wish to, you can bend your right knee, fold it in, reaching, reaching your right hand up, right hand wraps around the left thigh, circle your left hand behind and place it closer towards the table. Lift the chest up and gaze back. Extend. Wrap your abdomen onto your left thigh, twist slightly more deeper, chin over towards the left shoulder, keep breathing. Inhale, pull. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Now slowly turn forward slightly and release your right hand. Fold your left foot with your right hand from outside. And release your left hand and gaze back. Abdomen is drawn, really activating your abdomen at the same time, finding the twist from your waist. It's a very active pose. Hold, keep breathing. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now slowly place the hand down, release the leg, and extend both your legs in front of you. Shake, shake, shake. To the opposite side, lift your right leg up, place your right foot outside of the left knee, bend your left knee, yes, sit up tall. Extend your left hand, wrap your left hand around the right thigh, circle your right hand behind and place it closer towards the table. Now really lift the chest up, twist from the waist, you can feel that the abdomen is pressing onto the right thigh, if it's not happening, slightly lean forward. Let the abdomen press onto the right thigh and twist deep. Few breaths here. Inhale, pull. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale. Feeling that stretch through the outside of your right thigh, outside of your right hip. I'm feeling it on the lower back. Spine is twisted. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Now slowly gaze forward. Release your left hand. Hold the left hand on the outside of your right foot and slowly extend your right hand behind, finding that twist. Now take a moment to observe, lift the center of the chest up, activate your belly, really hold the belly tight and twist deep. Keep breathing, really toning your waist, hold, keep breathing for five, ten, nine, breathe, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Slowly release the hand, release your leg, extend both your legs, and shake it up. All right. So let's work on the back of the body, pressing your feet in front of you. Your feet are hip width apart. Your feet are hip width apart. Your hands are placed behind, pointing the fingers towards you. From this position, you're going to few times tilt your hip in and out. So you're going to find that anterior and posterior tilt of your hip. So observe and feel the movement happening from your hip. Do not lift your hips up. Your sitting body is pressing down. You're only tilting your hip. Mobility into your shoulders. So as you tilt your hip inward, your abdomen is drawn in. When you take it away from you, you're releasing your lower back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. One more last time. Exhale. Inhale. Next time. Exhale. Abdomen is drawn in. Activate. Press the heels firmly down. Press the hands down and slowly lift your hip up. Now 
Now squeeze in your bum, lift the hip up, bring your awareness to the center of the chest. And lift the center of the chest up, squeezing the shoulders, roll the shoulders back. Keep breathing, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly place the hips down, release your hand, hands onto the back of the thigh, lift your right leg up, lift your left leg up. Tuck the knee to the chest, maximum. And the next option, if you want to, straighten the leg, you can straighten the leg. That is not important. If you can tuck the knee to the chest, your abdomen is active. Really work on the core, your lower belly also. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Plant your feet, take your hands behind. Roll the shoulder back, tailbone tucked and down. Slowly lift the hip up. Really using that strength of the back of the body to lift the hip up to the line of your knee and your shoulders. Again, roll the shoulder back, lift the center of the chest up. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly place the hips down, release the hand, hands on your back of the thigh, lift your right leg up, lift your left leg up. Tuck the knee to the chest, release your hand. At this point, if you want to straighten, hold it there. Stay for five. Four, three, two, one. One more last time. Plant your feet, hands behind, press the hand firmly, tailbone tucked under, slowly lift the hip up. Squeeze your bum, lift the hip up slightly more, roll the shoulder back, stay. If you wish to, you can drop the head back if your neck is okay. Stay for five, four, three, two, and last one. Slowly place the hip down. Release your hand. Hands on your back of the thigh. Right leg in. Left leg in. Tuck the knee to the chest. And straighten the leg. And if possible, release the hand. Gaze towards the tip of your toe. Abdomen is drawn in. Hold the leg together. Stay for five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly place the feet down. Open the knees to the side. Lift the chest up and move your knees up and down. Relax. Stabilize your breath. Roll the shoulder back. Press the chest forward. Expand through the chest. Create more space for the lungs. Full inhale. Exhale soft. Inhale. Keep moving your knees up and down. Use the momentum here. Do open up into your hips. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep inhale and exhale. Now lift the chest up as you exhale, elbows to the side or tuck the elbow in, whatever is right for you and lean forward. Trying to bring the chin towards the toe and forehead down to the floor. Now use your thighs, inner thighs, activate the inner thigh. How do you activate it? Press the feet together, then you can feel the activation of the inner thigh and press the knees down. Hold, feel the stretch throughout the back of the body, opening your hips, external rotation of the hips, few breaths here. Inhale, fold, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. You can go down as much as you can, relaxing your belly. Use that breath to expand to the chest. As you exhale, pull the pelvic floor in. Inhale, fold, and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Next inhalation, slowly lift yourself up. Take your right hand over to the left knee and close your left knee over towards your right side and take a gentle twist. Feels good here. Come back. Left hand holding onto the right knee. Close the right knee to the left side and take a gentle twist. Slowly release both your legs, shake it off. All right, let's come onto the mat. Into your hands and knee plan. Pressing both your hands firmly, let's work a little bit on the shoulders. Four. Now find a neutral pelvis. From here, you're going to slide your right leg away from you. Press your right foot away from you. Big inhale. As we exhale, shift the body weight forward, elbow is bent, chest down, chin down. Inhale, lift up, 
Exhale, tuck the knee to the chest. Take a moment here. Really bring the knee to the chest to activate your belly. Inhale, extend. Exhale, shift the body weight forward. Elbow bend, chin down. Press the hand to the floor, lift up. Exhale, tuck the knee to the chest. Core is engaged. Inhale, extend. Exhale, shift. Elbow bend, chin down. Inhale, up. Exhale, knee to the chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, shift the body weight forward, chin down. Inhale, up. Exhale, knee to the chest. One more last time. Extend. Exhale, shift. Elbow bend, chin down. Inhale, up. Exhale, knee to the chest. Hold, tuck the knee to the chest. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Extend your leg. Shift the body weight forward. Elbow bend, chin down. Hold. Stay for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift up and bring the knees down. Walk your head forward into your puppy pose. Stretching your shoulders, stretching your triceps, tilting your tailbone back, arching your mid back and your upper back. Reversal of your posture, chin down. Really feel the stretch on your shoulders. Breathe in and out. Inhale deep, exhale soft. Inhale deep, exhale soft. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Inhale slowly lift up. Walk your hand back to the opposite side. You're going to release your left leg. You can either flex or point your toes, not a problem. Now, big inhale. As you exhale, shift the body weight forward, elbow bend, chin down. Inhale, press equal weight on both your hands. Exhale, tuck the knee to the chest. We are rounding your back. Abdomen is drawn in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, shift. Elbow bend, chin down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, knee to the chest. Three more to go. Inhale, extend. Exhale, shift. Elbow bend, elbows are closer towards the body. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, extend. Exhale, shift. Chin down. Inhale, up. Exhale. One more last time. Extend. Exhale, shift. Chin down. Inhale, up. Exhale. Tuck the knee to the chest. Hold. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Extend. Exhale, shift, elbow bend, chin down, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift up and bring the knees down. This time, let's take a twisted child pose. Take your right hand over towards the left side. As you take your hand, take your shoulder towards the left side of the mat. Place your shoulder down. Take a nice twist. You can either keep your left hand active or wrap your left hand behind and hook onto your right thigh. So, option is yours. You can either be here, keeping the body active, or relaxing that hand, and taking a twist. Keep breathing. Stretching your shoulders, twisting your spine, squeezing your abdomen, releasing all the stress from your abdomen. Inhale, exhale, one more deep inhale and exhale. Just release your left hand, press the left hand down and slowly lift yourself up. To the opposite side, take your left hand over towards the right side of the mat, place the shoulder down, rest your shoulder, rest your left ear down, open up your right hand, keep your right hand up, to keep your body active or take your left right hand behind you, hook it on your left hand. Keep on tilting your tailbone back. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Now release your right hand. Place your right hand down. And slowly lift yourself up. Open the knees to the side. Sink your hip onto the heel. Take a child pose. Walk your hands forward, rest the forehead down, keep breathing. 
yes. In the child pose, relax your hips. Notice the hips. Notice if the hips are touching on the heels. If not, open the knees to the side. Make space to bring the abdomen down, chest down, and the forehead down. Stabilizing your breath. Filling up all four corners of your lungs. Feel the expansion of the back of the body. And more deep breath. Slowly lift the chest up. Lift up into your all four position. Bring the knees together, slightly closer together. Hip width apart, press the hand and curl your toe. And slowly lift the knees off the mat. Into your first downward facing dog pose. Press the heels. Notice the downward facing dog. Pushing the hip up. Finding that optimal downward facing dog. So your optimal downward facing dog is you will feel a deep stress throughout the back of the body. And also on your shoulders. Your abdomen is drawn in. You can feel the heels pressing down. And you can feel the blood flow towards the upper body. So have an imaginary line on your hip. From the hip down, you're stretching through the leg. And hip up, you're stretching through the spine and the torso. Keep breathing. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, pull. And exhale. One more deep inhale. Exhale. You can slowly walk your heel up and down. If it feels good for you, do it at your pace. Try to synchronizing with your breath or moving at the pace you love to do. Now pressing both your heels firmly onto the ground, slowly take your legs to the side of the mat. So widening your legs. So let's do a twist from here. You're going to release your right hand. Reach your right hand over towards your left ankle. As you get the hand gripped on the ankle, bring your right shoulder over towards your left side and twist. Keep breathing. Now notice the heels. If you're lifting the heels up, press the heels firmly. If your heels are down also, press it firmly down. Hold. Keep breathing. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Release your right hand, press it firmly, and release your left hand and hook onto your right ankle and slowly twist and gaze up towards the sky. Immediately feel the twist on your spine, feeling it on the waist. These are all essential movements for you. Twisting your waist, keep breathing, more weight on your one arm, which is down. So you're strengthening through that right shoulder. Inhale, exhale, one more deep inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. Now release the hand, press both your hands, bring your legs back to that alignment. Now slowly walk both your hands towards the feet, walking both your hands towards the feet. So you're going to be onto the back of the mat, pressing both your hands on either side of the feet. Hold, keep breathing. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, one more deep inhale, exhale. Now from here, slowly roll up spine by spine. Vertebra by vertebra, slowly lift up, roll the shoulders back. Hands onto the side of the body, reach both your hands over the hip. Hold on to your right wrist with your left hand and slowly pull yourself towards the left side, taking a side stretch. Hold. Keeping the body lateral, rolling the right shoulder towards the side, abdomen is drawn in. These are not usual movements for the spine, so any lateral flexion, keep the abdomen engaged so you support your spine. Inhale, lift up. Hold your right wrist with your left hand and pull yourself towards the right side. Observe your belly being sucked in. Just feeling the stress through the left side, circulation through the left side of the body. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release your hand. Next inhale, reach both your hands over the head, look up. Exhale, fold forward. 
Now from here, walk your hands forward to the downward facing dog. Hold. Now lift your right leg up, press the right foot away from you. Keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. One more deep inhale, exhale. Now slowly lift the leg up, walk both your hands back towards your feet. Bring your leg down and slowly lift up. Roll up spine, bar spine, hands over the side, lift the chin up, look up, raise both your hands up. As you exhale, bring both your hands down, round your back, fold forward, look forward, walk yourself forward towards the front of the mat into your downward facing. Push the hip up, extend through the spine. Now lift your left leg up, press the left foot away from you into a three-legged downward facing dog. One more deep breath. With the leg lifted up, slowly walk both your hands back into your right leg. Hold. Bring your left leg down into a forward fold. Inhale, roll up, spine by spine. Reach both your hands up, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Let's do that one more time, both sides. Look forward, walk yourself forward to your downward facing dog. Push the hip up, lifting your right leg up into your three-legged downward facing dog. One more breath here. Now slowly walk your hands back. Get your leg down and slowly roll up. Reach both your hands over the head, arching your back, look up. Exhale, one more last time, fold forward. Look forward, walk your hands forward. Hold, push the hip up, extend through the spine, abdomen is drawn in, and lift your left leg up. Press the foot away from you, hold. One more deep breath. And slowly walk your hand back. Get your left leg down and roll up spine by spine. Reach both your hands over the head, look up. Exhale, bring both your hands to the heart center. Nice deep inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more deep inhale and exhale. Again, reach both your hands up, look up. As you exhale, fold forward. This time, walk your hands forward into a plank. Holding the plank, keep breathing. Press the floor away from you. Tailbone is tucked under. Engage through the shoulder. Press the heels backward. Bring a straight line with your body. Your glute is tight. Abdomen is drawn in. Keep breathing. Take a chain. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one. Press the heels, push your hip back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, full, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more deep inhale, exhale. Now from here, look forward, walk your legs forward to the front of the mat. Fold forward completely. Inhale, slowly lift up, reach up. Exhale, bring both your hands to the heart center. Big inhale, exhale. Inhale, lift both your hands up, reach up, look up. Arching your back. Exhale, fold. Complete forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift up, look away from you. Exhale, bend your knee, press the hand, walk back into your plank. Exhale, slowly shift the body weight forward, elbow bend, either chaturanga or go down completely. Inhale, lift, arching your back. Upward facing dog. Exhale, curl the toe. Push the hip back into your downward facing dog. Press the heels. Push your hip up. Extend through the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep inhale. Exhale. Lift your left leg up. Press the left foot away from you. Take your left leg forward between the hands. Release your right heel. Lift both your hands up into your warrior one position. Hold, keep breathing. 
Inhale, and exhale. You're going to twist your downward facing dog, bring your right hand over towards your left thigh, left hand goes behind, folding onto your right thigh. Hold, twist, keep breathing, five, four, three, two, one. And from here, straighten your left leg, reach both your hands up, exhale, fold forward. Bringing your abdomen closer towards your left thigh, coming into your pyramid pose. Keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend your knee, press both your hands, take your left leg back into flat. Exhale, shift the body weight forward, elbow bend, chaturanga. Or go down. Inhale, lift, arching your back, press the chest forward, chin up. Exhale, curl the toe, press the heels, keep pushing your hip back forward. Big inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. This time, lift your right leg up, press the right foot away from you. Take your right leg forward, left heel down, lift up into your warrior one. Hold. Big inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Twist towards your right. Your left hand comes over towards your right thigh. Left hand behind, fold. Keep sinking your hip down. Take a nice twist. Keep breathing. Five. Your left heel is pressing down. Your right knee is above the ankle. Two. And one. Slowly release both your hands. Reach both your hands up. Straighten your right leg. Fold forward. Abdomen touching the right thigh. Folding. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Bend your right knee, take your right leg back into flat. Exhale, shift the body weight forward, chaturanga. Inhale, lift, look up. Exhale, curl the toe, press the heels, push your hip back. Inhale, pull, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. One more deep inhale, and exhale. Now look forward, bend your knees, walk forward between your hands. Fold forward completely. Now bend your knees. You're going to work on your chair pose, okay? So you're going to come into a half chair pose from here. First press the hand down, bend your knee. Inhale, lift up into a half chair. Look away from you. Exhale, fold forward. So throughout the movement, your abdomen is pressing onto the thigh. Half chair, exhale, fold. Inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. One more last time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Next time, bend. Lift the hands up into your Utkatasana. Tailbone tucked under. Stay here. Reaching the hands up. Five, four, three, two. Don't release. Take both your hands behind. Yeah, like a wing. Hold it here. Sink your hip down. You can feel it on the thigh. Five. Four, three, two, don't release yet. Lift the heels up, balance your chair. Stay here. Stay for five, four, three, two, one. Give me ten pulses there. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift both your hands up. You can really feel the thighs. Look up. Exhale, bring both your hands to the heart center. Take a nice breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Let's come back into the Uttkatasana. Reach both your hands up. Lower the hip down. Look down to see the toes. Tailbone tucked under. Engaging your glute. Engaging your thighs. Two. And one, fold forward completely. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, bend your knees, walk back into your flat. Exhale, shift the body weight forward, elbow bend, chaturanga. Inhale, lift, look up. Exhale, curl the toes, press the heels, push your hip back and up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more deep inhale. Exhale, from here, lift your left leg up 
and send your left leg forward between the hands. Lift up into your warrior two position. Hold, spread the hands to the side. Big inhale, exhale. Inhale, notice your warrior two, tailbone is tucked under. Extending your spine, lifting the chin up, facing towards your left fingertip. Sink your hip down even more, your shoulders are relaxed. One more deep inhale, exhale. Now straighten the left knee, adjust your feet if you need to. Your left hand comes outside of the left foot, come into your triangle foot. Hold. Now push that left hip backward, extend your spine and take your right shoulder back. Left shoulder in. You can place your hand inside of the left foot or place the hand on your shin. Really extend through the spine, keep breathing for five, four, three, two, and one. Now bend your left knee, place your left hand inside of the left foot, take a bound side angle pose. So left hand is under the left thigh, roll your right shoulder back, look up towards the sky. Stay for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release your hand, bring both your hands down, take your left leg back into plank. Exhale, shift the body weight forward, elbow bend, shuttering back. Inhale, look, arching your back, look up. Exhale, turn the toe, press the heels, and push your hips back and up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, deep, and exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Now slowly lift your right leg up, press the right foot away from you. And send your right leg between your hands. Let's do the warrior two on the other side. Coming into a nice position. Hands onto the side. Aligning your right heel onto the arch of the left foot. Keeping your back leg nice and engaged. Weight onto the outer edge of the foot. Tailbone slightly tucked under. Lower belly is engaged. Flat body. Keep breathing, gazing towards your right fingertip. Shoulders relax, really extend, really being a warrior. Big inhale, exhale. Fighting your problems, inhale, exhale. One more deep inhale, exhale. Now straighten your right leg. As you extend, bring your right hand down. You can either place on your right shin or Keep your hand down onto the floor or hold onto the toe and press the foot down. Either way, press your right hip backward, extend your spine and find the twist. Hold. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Now slowly come here, bend your left knee, sink your hip down. Take a bind. Right hand comes under the right thigh. Hand goes behind. Roll your left shoulder back. Sink your hip down. And look. Hold. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale. Release your hands. Press both your hands. Take your right leg back into flat smoothly. Exhale. Shift the body weight forward. Chattering back. Inhale, lift, arching your back, look up. Exhale, curl the toes, press the heels and push your hips back and up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, deep, exhale. One more deep inhale, exhale. From this position itself, you're going to lift your left leg up and take your left leg outside of the left hand. So you're going to take a variation of the plank, side plank. Now from here, turn the left toe towards the left side, right toe also towards the left side. Move your right hand to the center, come into the side plank position. Hold. I hope you all are okay. Now slowly bring your hip down. Really stretching through the left side, through the right side of the body, sinking the hip down. Inhale, pass it up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale. One more last time. Inhale. 
and exhale. From here, slowly release your left leg and place your left foot onto the top of your right leg into a side plank. Release the left hand, hold, keep breathing. Stay for five. Lift the hip up, four. If you wish to, you can release your leg. Two, and one. Place the foot down and slowly turn yourself back. Go back into your chaturanga. Inhale, lift, look up. Exhale, curl the toe, press the heels into your downward facing. Big inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale if you wish to. Relax, bring the knees down. Open the knees to the side into a child pose. Hmm. You can release both your hands. Interlace the fingers behind you and stretch your shoulders. Feel the breath, filling up your lungs, stabilizing your breath. One more deep breath. All right. Release both your hands. Press both your hands down. Come back into your downward facing dog. Now this time, lifting your right leg up. Take your right leg outside of the right hand. Turn the right toe towards your right side. Turn the left toe also towards your right side. So coming into your modification of the side plank, you can keep your right hand up and drop your left hip down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Come back into the position and slowly release your right leg and place it over the right left foot. You can either stay here or if you want to stagger the feet, stagger the feet, keep lifting the hip up or lift the right leg up, coming into a nice balance. And also engaging through the side of the body. Stay to five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to the center. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lift. Exhale, curl the toe, press the heels. Keep pushing the hip back, stretch your spine. Big inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. One more deep inhale, exhale. Look forward, bend your knees, walk yourself forward to the front. Fold forward completely. Keep breathing. Take both your hands, wrap your hand around, or hold on to your opposite elbow. Take a deep forward fold. You can micro bend your knees if you need to. So your abdomen, your chest is pressing on your thighs. Bend your knees. And from there, you can work towards a nice flat back. Four. One more deep breath. Now slowly release both your hands. Bend your knees. Lift up into your Utkatasana. Hold it here. Keep breathing. Let's do some balance. Lift your left leg up. Place your left ankle onto your right thigh. Hold. Stay here, bring both your hands to the chest. Slowly go down, find the balance into your one-legged chair. Hold, keep breathing. Five, four, three, two, one. You can, if you can move ahead, straighten the standing leg and hold onto the right ankle with your hands. Hold in and stay. Keep gazing at one steady point. Stay for five. Four, three, two, one. Bend your right knee, press both your hands, pull your belly in for stability. Hold and slowly lift up. Lift, hanging here, and then come into your tree pose. Press that left foot onto the right side, press the left feet firmly, hands onto the heart center, stay here, 
Abdomen is drawn in, spread the hands to the side. See if you can balance this asymmetric pole. Chinda mudra, holding onto the chinda mudra, slowly lean forward. Pull the belly in. Even if you lose balance, no problem. Stay lean. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly lift. Beautiful. And bring both your hands to the heart center. And release your left leg. Shake, shake, shake. Your right leg is in fire. Shake. All good? Yeah. Yes. To the other side. After that, it's only relaxation. You're going to take your right leg and place it onto the left thigh. Yes. Standing tall. Start engaging your mid part of the body. Hands onto the heart center. Squeeze your bum. Big inhale. As you exhale, slowly go down. Bending your left knee. Reaching the elbow outside of the right shin. Hold. Yes. Gaze steady onto one single point. Five, four, three, two, one. Release the hand and slowly grab hold of your left ankle. Place at one single point. Really put that point in five, four, five, four, three, two, one. Release the hand. Slow movement. Release the hand. Bend your knee. Hold. Slowly lift up. Abdomen is drawn in. So place that right foot onto the left thigh. Prepare. Keep breathing. Steady mind. Squeeze your bum. Spread the hands to the side. You can really feel the heat on the left leg. And slowly shift the body weight forward. Abdomen is drawn in. It's all on the abdomen. Hold. Keep breathing. Steady point. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhale, lift. Exhale, come back. Woo. Shake, shake, shake. Shake it off. All right. You can lie down on your back. Release both your legs. Shake it off. Now this is the last bit, okay? So remember our Garudasana bind with your leg. So you're going to really work on the abdomen. Can you hear us? Yes. Okay. So remember the Garudasana leg. Right leg over, left leg under. under. So right leg over and take a bind. Left arm over, interlace your palm, press the hands. Now you're going to bring your elbow to the knee. And take your fingers away from you. Take your legs away from you. So let's do 10 movements, okay? 10 and then last time you're going to hold for 10 counts. By the time you really feel it on the abdomen. Draw your belly in. As you exhale, knee to the elbow. Lift the shoulders off the mat. Your lumbar spine is pressing down. Inhale, extend your hand. Extend your legs. Exhale. Inhale, reach. Exhale, eight. Inhale, reach the palm away, reach your toes away. Exhale, six. Inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, last one, hold it there. Really lift the shoulder off, feel it on the abdomen, flat lower back, and your lumbar spine. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2, 2, and 1. Release both your hands only, and take your legs towards the left side. Twist your waist, twist, twist your abdomen, and gaze over towards your right side. Hold. Stretch your abdomen, twisting your spine, shoulders relaxed, face relaxed, softening your breath. And feeling 
the stress through the side of the body, your lower back, and stretching through those muscles, running diagonally in your body, spiraling in your body. Slowly lift both your legs back to center, come back into the neutral spine, and release both your legs. Press both your feet and swing both your legs side to side. And we are not done here, we have to do the opposite side also, 10 more times. Be strong, really working on the abdomen. All right, come back up. This time, take your left leg over the right, twine your legs, hook your legs, and right arm over the left. Yes, hold. Now bring the elbow closer towards your knee. Inhale, extend both your legs away from your, your leg away, your fingertips away. Exhale, lift the shoulders off, flatten the lumbar spine. Inhale, exhale. Exhale. Do it smoothly. Really use your breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, seven. Inhale. Exhale, six. Inhale. Exhale, five. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale three, inhale, exhale two, inhale, exhale, last one, four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 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 you are blocked, you are freeze frozen, one, last one, and release, relax. Now drop both your legs towards the right side and gaze over to the left side. And twist your spine, squeeze your abdomen, stretch it out, releasing all the tensions. Big inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more deep inhale and exhale. Slowly come back to center, undo your legs, now press both your feet, hands onto the side, swing your legs side to side. Yeah, now lift your right leg up, place your right foot onto the left thigh, thread your hands through and take a nice lying down pigeon pose. So your right ankle is pressed onto the left thigh, taking your hands over, holding onto the left shin, and gently pull the leg in, and keep on flexing your right foot. So that makes you feel on the right outer thigh, your IT band, really stretching your glute, your piriformis, opening your hip into that angle which is really deep. Hold, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale deep, exhale. One more deep inhale, and let's go. Release your leg, release your right leg. Swing your knee side to side. To the opposite side, keeping the knees upright. Take your left angle and place it onto the right. Thread your hands through and hold onto your right shin. Pull the leg closer towards you. Keep on flexing your left foot this time. Really spreading the toes wide. Hold. And really start observing your body. Feeling it onto the left glute. Your IT band. Hold. Keep on breathing. Opening up into your hips. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Big inhale and exhale. Now from here slowly release the leg. Relax. Swing your knee side to side. Alright. Now extend both your legs. Hands onto the side of the body. Resting your body completely. Your palm is facing up towards the sky. 
Shoulders are relaxed. Stabilizing your breath. Allow that breath to move throughout the body. Bringing awareness to your breath and sending the breath into those areas I mentioned to relax the entire body. Bring awareness to the tip of your toes and breathe into the tip of your toes. Breathing into your soles of the feet to relax the soles of the feet. Bring your focus on your ankles and breathe into the ankles. Anytime your mind is going away, bring it back to the breath and bring awareness to those problems and keep the mind steady. That becomes your meditation. Bringing awareness to your calf and your shin and breathe into the calf and the shin, relaxing your lower legs. Bring awareness to your knees and breathe into the knees, feeling the knees. Bring awareness to the front and back of your thighs. Allow that breath to soften your muscles. Bring awareness to your hips, breathe into the hips, relaxing your hips. Releasing all the tensions from the hips, releasing the tightness on the hip flexors. And bring awareness to your abdomen. Take a deep breath into the abdomen. Feel the rise and fall of your belly. Nourishing your organs. Bring your hands to your center of the chest. Inhale into the center of the chest. Expand into your arms. Sending your circulation to heal the entire body. Bring your hands to your throat. Take a deep inhale into your throat, clearing your throat. Bring your hands to your shoulders and your arms, relaxing your shoulders and your arms. Relaxing the body. 
depose the slowly with tears of Papa and your seat here, bringing both your hands to the heart center. Take a deep inhale. Thank you so much. 